Hoksanu is a uh, United States-based melodic black metal band, and Totenpass is their second full-length album in just a few years. Now, this is a, a band from Alex Poole, who is a musician you'll probably know from, you know, everything from Guardgaster to uh, Chaos Echoes, or I'm sorry, Chaos Moon and Scafe. And a lot of those records are more atmospheric, those bands are more atmospheric. They're centered around uh, heavier layers and they speak for themselves in abstraction in a lot, in most cases. Uh, in this case, this is a very direct kind of heavy metal statement from the, the artist uh, and the, the lyricist here, uh, the vocalist as well. And um, really, it, it can read two ways. You can see it as sort of a, a sorhin esque attack on uh, melodic black metal, which is uh, fully not in the melodic death metal category. Um, you could see a little bit of uh, Arcanum in their first record. You could see... Um, a lot of people compared it to Sargeist just for the fact that they don't listen to a lot of melodic black metal and Sargeist is influenced by melodic black metal. But on this album, it's a little bit more clear where uh, where they're aiming or where they're landing as uh, a more classic early 90s style of melodic black metal, which you would find in nods to Sacramentum and Dawn, but more so kind of the 94 to 96 era of those bands. And a lot of those observations come from... Uh, really the texture of the performance as well as the the way that they phrased themselves within the uh, rhythm guitar work this will be a lot more clear once you listen to a clip and uh, we'll just jump into uh, one of these songs here for a second <laughs> So the appeal of the first Oksanu album was that it was almost there. It was pr it was producing a atmospheric sort of indulgence on uh, what was clearly influenced by melodic black metal, and it was uh, guitar driven music that was kind of almost there, but sort of teasing towards the parts that really stuck and hit in a, a, like a memorable, nostalgic kind of way. This album is a little bit more direct. Its themes center around. Uh, passage into the afterlife and in a way it, it just gets a little bit more to the point uh, even though some of the uh, songs here are more elaborate more melodic and just more expressive in general i think the, the guitar work is really where uh, you'll find a lot of the focus has been put and to great results um I, there's a couple of songs in here like sporagmos uh, particularly where that's going to be an obvious hit with most people you, you might stumble upon that moment after several almost you know as effective moments but that's really where it hit me and where i think a lot of people will be most impressed and sort of buy into the whole experience right away uh, there are more direct singles on here that they've already put out so you know we'll go out on that note but it, this is probably, as far as I'm concerned, the, the best album of February. There might be an outlier in there that I've forgotten about. But this is just an exceptional record. And uh, I'd expect it to be pretty good. I think I liked that first album, Snare of All Salvation, a little bit more than a lot of people did who noticed it, you know. But uh, this is just even better. And I think they've improved every aspect of kind of realizing their vision. So really high marks for me again one of the best albums of the month and it comes with a very high recommendation uh so we'll listen to another song as you take a look at the score and details and uh go ahead and read the review on the site and take a closer look at, at just how i felt about it in general My 